anyone, so we'll skip right down to the minutes. So I'm going to introduce our two new members, Margaret Lasano and Lorraine Wagon. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Welcome aboard. Approval of the minutes so of the May 8th meeting. Uh, motion I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. Second. Any discussion? Anyone have any corrections or deletions? Or? No? Hearing none, all in favor of them will accept this. Say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstain? Okay. Uh, staff report, uh, Helen won't be here, but have Heather, you're the program coordinator, and you're on. Thank you for having me today. It's kind of nice to fill in for Helen today, because we have some really neat new programs that I'm excited to talk about, and hopefully you'll help me spread the word so we can keep getting new faces in here. Um, Many of you probably already know that we've started up a Zumba Gold class on Wednesday afternoons at 12.30. And I'm proud to say that it's getting really good attendance. When you walk by the room, everybody's dancing and smiling and exercising. So spread the word, because there's room for more people. That's going very well. Um, and in May, we had our Women's Day event, where we celebrated women and mothers of the senior center. Um, hands on Elders Massage was kind enough to donate their time and do massages for the women at the event. And we had two makeup artists come and do makeovers. So it was a low key, quiet event, but it was nice to be able to socialize and just a really nice morning. We also just had the party in the park, which was interesting. I think many of you were there. Um, <laughs> We had it here at the Senior Center instead of at Wood Park, but we decorated the room so that it looked like we were outdoors. Um, we pulled out our decorating skills and helped me put things all together. So, party in the park went pretty well. I think everyone had a good time despite the change of venue and some of the confusion. It was a very nice afternoon. We also just had a Men's Day event to honor the men and fathers at the Senior Center where Kurt Sarver from Changes Salon in Northampton donated his time and did haircuts and we also had a barbecue lunch. So that was a small event, but I think it was a very nice event. You had a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a lot of fun actually. It was nice to kind of hang out with the Men of the Senior Center. He did, he trimmed up real good. Yeah. Oh, okay. He That's took about seven years so off nice and you know, <laughs> made them all even. Yeah. Very personable guy. Yes, very nice morning. Uh, we also just started a photo club, thanks to Jim Spencer, who's facilitating that. The photo club will be meeting once a month on the first Friday of the month. So we had the first meeting on June 6th. There are nine people signed up so far, so that was pretty impressive for the first day. And I'm sure we'll get more, because I know people have been asking at the desk. So their next meeting will be not on June, July 4th, because it will be closed, but July 11th. So that's the photo club. We also have a Mass Mutual Retire Confidently seminar coming up on June 18th at 6.30 in the evening. Two representatives from Mass Mutual will be coming to talk about preparing to retire. So this is geared in for younger seniors who are getting ready to retire, have questions about making their money last into retirement, when is the right time to retire, how can we plan for growth, that kind of thing. So <coughs> we'll get people for that. You probably already all know that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like now. Yeah. Yeah. It's sitting here so retired. <laughs> We plan that, right? <laughs> that one for the Wednesday evening time because we thought it might appeal to the seniors who are still working but are hoping to retire very soon. Um, we also have a Garden Gate painting event coming up on June 23rd. The Garden Gate painting event. 
you've probably seen the painting out near the reception area. An artist will be coming and will be guiding people through how to actually make that painting and everyone will go home with that painting. So, and it's open to anyone whether or not you have artistic talent or not. What do you say? Monday, June 23rd at 10 a.m. So it's similar, I guess, um, to the paint and sip events. That right. 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 We won't necessarily be sipping anything but coffee. But <laughs> 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 that was too bad. <laughs> what time is that, Heather? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. It goes from 10 to 12. Um, then in July, we also have some new programming coming up. Uh, we were just chatting, actually. The guys were saying there was something on the news about whether or not butter is okay to eat. We're actually putting together a class about nutrition myths. Um, as a carb-free diet good for you? Are eggs bad for you? What are the superfoods we're always hearing about? Why are there six different kinds of milk you can buy at the grocery store? So this class will be on Friday afternoons in July, and we'll address some of these. Every events. Friday afternoon in July? Uh, I'll have to double check the schedule. It will be out at reception by the end of the week but that will be Friday afternoons in July. Then in July, we're also doing, oh no, we're also doing acrylic painting starting in June, next Tuesday, from one to three in the afternoon, five weeks of acrylic painting. The instructor has an MFA from UCLA and lots of teaching experience, so she should be a really great instructor, so we hope people will check that out. She's also planning on putting together a watercolor class for us in July. Some art stuff. I don't know the dates. It starts Tuesday, June 17th. It runs for five weeks. Um, in July, we're also going to offer a poetry class that goes through the poetry of Emily Dickinson. Um, this will be taught by an instructor who has an MFA in poetry from Sarah Lawrence, and this will be on Wednesday evenings. Um, the Ice Cream Social is coming up on July 8th. This will be at 1.30 p.m. It will be free for Northampton seniors and $2 for non-resident seniors and guests. So this is an event where you could bring your family and your grandkids and come have ice cream at the senior center. For August and into the fall, I'm looking at putting together a course about Middle Eastern literature. That would include parts about politics and history. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of The Kite Runner. So we'll talk about that and how the story relates to politics and history. And looking at some language stuff and technology. I'd like to get a little bit more instruction in technology. So that's all the exciting stuff going on in the world of programming. Good. If anyone has any questions? I have a comment that the photo class actually gave put on the historical day for Northampton. Uh, we took a grand total of 274 slides. Okay, out of the 274 slides that we put in, they accepted 270. Wow. And they're, wow. going to be, they're going to be in the, the program that they're showing all around the state. Wow. So Wonderful. pretty happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. So will you know when that's happening? Or we're, going we're going to have it here. Okay. We're going to yes. we get it all squared away. They're going to figure out when it's all going to be done. But as soon as they get done, we're going to be first or second on the list okay. to pick a date. That'll be nice. I'm kind of proud of that. Yeah. 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 It was also nice during open house that um, in this room, Jim, and we had his um, photography cl class, and then also the writing, and it was just you know a, a whole different way people could see what happens at the senior center. It was with the uh, TV showing a lot of their um, photographs, and then some of their writing was on this one. Tremendous feedback from that. It was really a lot of people really spent a lot of time in here. Mm -hmm. Reading the things and even even your brother in laws they enjoyed his too. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we do feel happy. And then yeah. what was really nice was the people that didn't know people came in and said, This is a great piece, and the person was there. Wow. 
Wow. You know, they were yeah. really excited yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So it was a nice bonus for our open house to have that. Any other questions for Heather? Thank you, Heather. Thank you for listening and please spread the word. As is now on national television. <laughs> 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 go to the Senior Center Council on Aging website, there's a link that you can have that you can see any of the uh, meetings once you're posting. So you can always tune in and see what you may have been doing or what you said. Or if you needed a refresher about what might have been happening at the meeting. So it's just an easier way to do it than I had to do it before. Okay, we'll move on to finances, the FY14 and 15 budgets. Yeah, so I passed out um, an accounting of our ES and OM, um, and we are getting to the end of the fiscal year, which ends June 30th, so monies from our grant accounts <coughs> and our revolving accounts will be transferred into uh, personal services. That's money that we owe to the city based on the budget that we had submitted. And um, talking to Susan Bright, the uh, finance director, it's about 82000 by the end of the um, fiscal year that we'll be transferring in. And uh, PS, uh, the uh, OM account, uh, there's $356.04, so um, we'll probably be purchasing some toner cartridges to uh, use up our OM account. And then as of July 1st, our FY15 budget uh, begins. And um, for new members, um, I <coughs> wanted to have a packet of information, including the preliminary, um, which would include a copy of the budget, FY15 budget, so you would know what, what um, our accounts are. So basically, we receive money from the city, the city appropriation. And then we have a, many revolving accounts that um, include um, grant money and uh, fundraising money, donations, and things like that. And that's um, another way that we support what we do at the, the senior center. That's my budget report. Do you have any questions for Patty on the 14 or 15 budgets? Okay, we'll begin with the director. So May, which was Older Americans Month, we put on many additional programs, workshops. Um, you know, staff did an excellent job planning many additional events to celebrate Older Americans Month. And um, we also have a proclamation that the mayor had uh, put forth uh, on city council floor about Older Americans Month. We had done a special program that uh, has a proclamation on the back, and then everything in, in addition to what we normally do here um, inside. So there are things on legal, social security, identity theft, Medicare. Um, so it's just a nice array of um, additional um, sessions that we have here at the Senior Center. Um, one of the big events that happened was the Health and Safety Fair. So we were 12th annual, it's hard to believe that we've been doing the health and safety fair for 12 years, and we have a booklet that we do each year, and um, different agencies and organizations can buy ads, and that's what helps um, put this booklet out to everybody. It's passed out to anybody who comes in. And then also, um, it, so the, the funds from this and the booth fee um, helps pay for the whole event because we do a lot of advertising for it. And it's, it's nice to get hundreds of people in the building um, to participate in health and safety here because it is getting a wide arrangement of folks in here under one roof to hear many things that can happen. And I think despite the weather, um, we still have a lot of participants in the building. The um, World War II Club and Daily Hampshire Gazette should be thanked as they usually are very accommodating for us to use their, their parking 
<clears throat> and I did hear a few comments that people had trouble finding a place to park. So when when we sit down as a staff to figure out what kind of changes we need for next year, um, parking would be one of the ones that we have to think about. Um, and then also we had the um, kitchen open, so people who were exhibitors could order food as well as people could sit in there um, to eat. And so Barbara Kaczynski and John Kaczynski coordinated the kitchen, so thank you very much for that. And then Mary Lestowski, Mary Lou Jolson, and Sue Luthier helped inside um, under the direction of John and, and Barbara. And people just raved about the food, so it was very successful in the, the bistro as well. And we had two cashiers, Ruth McGrath and um, Olivine Lococo, who should be thanked as well for all that they did with um, all of our customers. So, um, and based on the evaluations that we received from the exhibitors, um, they, they just really thought it was one of the best um, health and safety fairs that they go to. So it's, it's um, an established event, and next year will be um, our 13th annual. I don't know if that's unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> or you change it, or I, I'm not sure. But anyway, next year would be our 13th. And, um, it, one of the suggestions was um, from a couple exhibitors, and I've heard it before, is that we should do two a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. And it's really not a bad idea to do. I bet I heard that eight times yeah. talking to the people. Yeah. Everybody said, you know, it's so good, and they had such a deal, you know, they want to do one later on because of the, the weather mm -hmm. factor. Mm -hmm. So but that would help with the parking, too, because you wouldn't have the whole bunch of people coming at once. You know, you'd have people might come to the fall and they might come to the spring, you know? Yeah, and they come to both. Like yeah, yeah. 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 all that information and free pens. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I have to say exhibitors really do put out a lot of um, free items for people. Mm -hmm. It's pretty um, Neat stuff. outstanding yeah. 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 things that you can use. Well, we have people from like New York State that came down for the health and safety fair. Really? Hotel rooms. <laughs> yeah, thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, from um, gosh, uh, Rochester, New York. They oh came last God, wow. year wow. and they came specifically to come to this health and safety fair. Wow. So wow. when I was putting the sign out early in the morning, they were walking by because they were going uptown for breakfast. And um, so I had a conversation with them. Um, and they come to this because it's so good. Wow. 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 They come. Look at our exhibitors. They're um, participants, not exhibitors. They're here to see wow. They partake in yeah. um, learning about yeah. health and safety. Wow. Yeah. All yeah. the information you get in these things and all the people you see is not available everywhere. I mean, yeah. it's hard to find one place you can find all these services that are available. And we have all these organizations that were there mm -hmm. in one spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the whole purpose. And, when I first started, it was because every organization wants to come into your facility. And again, we were up in the other building. Uh, they wanted to come in and you know talk about who they were as an organization. And it's like, okay, you might get five or six people, and you know we can't keep scheduling things like that. So the health and safety fair came up. I have something in my eyes, so I'm just it's going to tear out eventually. I asked a question to the right aid people, okay? And she said, we don't carry that in Northampton. She called Pittsfield and it was delivered to my house the next day. Wow. Oh, wow. I thought that was pretty cool of somebody to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Good connection then. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and each year we have some returnees as exhibitors and then we get new people. So it's always a little mix, uh, which is nice. Um, Heather had uh, talked about the party in the park uh, and we switched it to here. Um, uh, when the count was uh, started to be taken, we had six people who had signed up for it, which is really a poor, poor um, figure. The Monday before the event, there was only six people signed up. Yeah. And so um, we switched it from Look Park, and it had something to do with the weather, but really it was you can't have six. It could maybe 12 people would have signed up or 25. It was still a small number. And also, we had no one who was going to be turning 100 um, come to the event. So we, we have, as a staff, talked a little bit about the event um, and what we're going to do in the future. But when we sit down to totally go over it, you know, we need to look at that event. Is it still the right venue for us to be doing? You know, there are other ideas. It could be that we just celebrate those or 
turning 100, and then we have a barbecue another time, and it's just not connected. But anyway, we'll, we'll be going through it, because in, in the end, I think we had 48 people or so signed up, which is still a, a really uh, core number of people. Um, the people who came, it was really a wonderful, wonderful event. It was in the great room, and those people, it worked out really, really well. But you know, if you're really counting on 100 people, 125, and, and you know, six people a week before had signed up, that's, you know, it, there's some issue. And, and there's many things that we can look at it, like, you know, were the tickets on sale early enough? Um, you know, is it the, you know, cost? Is it um, the location? There's just a lot of things to think about. You Did know, the people have to pay to get into a park after purchasing the ticket? We pay for that. Oh, okay, so that, that yeah. was included in the ticket or extra? Extra. We we get a bill from the park and then it's yeah. paid. So you probably still got billed. Did you? No, because nobody went. No, we okay. unless five cards went in, cars went in, we wouldn't get billed for okay. that. Yeah. So, but you know, the originally that party in the park was held at Maine's Field, yep. yeah. and then we switched it to the park because the distance between the picnic tables and the restrooms was quite a distance. Yeah. It was difficult for people. Yeah. And. Um, you know, back then, Ray Ellerbrook, you know, was in encouraging us to look at Look Park, and um, so we did. And it, it really does work out well at Look Park. Um, they're very accommodating. But, you know, if you only have 20 people in the pavilion, it's, it's yeah. very yeah. sparse. What about the smaller pavilion? Yeah, but, that's further down, right? Yeah, yeah the restrooms aren't there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Unfortunately, so, yeah. 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 But we'll take, uh, you know, comments and, and um, you know, as, as a staff, we'll figure out what we want to do for next year. Because it is a lot of work to put it on, you know, as are many of the big events to do that we do. Um, so you want to maximize the number of participants. So. But as I said, it, it did really work out well um, for those who came to the uh, event in the great room. Uh, May 30th, we had Emmett Schmarzo um, from the Department of Elder Affairs. He was here um, conducting the formula grant workshop. And the uh, formula grant is what every city and town can apply for. Uh, and it is based on the number, <coughs> the dollar amounts based on the number of seniors times whatever the legislature approves. So we're looking at $8 um, times the number of Northampton seniors. So that, that's a big part of our budget. So anyway, he was here to talk about the formula grant. Um, and it's always good having Emmett in the building because you learn a lot from Emmett. And I think some of you have been to trainings for board members when Emmett's been here. Yeah, you've got to go do that. Yeah, he just is such a wealth of information and stories and. He just has such a passion for what he, what he does. Um, we're gearing up for the tag sale. Barbara is coordinating that. And, um, <laughs> it's this Saturday, 92. So if you haven't cleaned out your closets, please do that. And, um, the members of the public probably won't see this before Saturday. But if you have anything out there in Northampton community, we would welcome some of your treasures for a tag sale. Um, or come Saturday to purchase between 9 and 2. Um, Shred Day will be Saturday the 21st, 9 to 12. That's another fundraiser. And um, it will be in the parking lot. And also that day is the uh, dedication to the Marion Frank Netto Meditation Garden, um, which will be at 10 o'clock. So everybody is invited. Um, so both those things will be happening in the morning. Again, you're welcome to come to that. Can I stop you there for a question? Yes. The bricks for that. Yeah. Yeah. Are so they going to be placed now or later? Or that was two people asked me that question. Yeah, that, that's a good question. So in the garden, there's going to be bricks that can be engraved. And on the front counter, we have a copy of one of the bricks that will be inlaid. So people can order them now, and then at some point when we have enough, let's say we have an order for 10 bricks, we're gonna send it in, and then those 10 bricks come. Bricks that are already laid down, which have nothing on them at all, will be um, lifted out, and then one of the ones with the um, engraving will be put in. So there's um, 
applications to uh, fill out if you're interested in a brick it's a hundred dollars for the brick and we're calling them commemorative bricks so it can be um, you know anything that you would like on the brick that's based on the number of characters that can be on three lines so there's no time limit for the no we, the we, you know we, yeah. we could be doing this in five years yeah. um, mm -hmm. as well so there'll be bricks laid down and then as orders come in, we'll, you know, as I said, maybe we get 10 of them, we'll send in the brick um, requests, and then the, the engravers will come back and they'll then be put into the garden. So, you know, somebody says, well, how many can you sell? And you can sell as many as you want to put in for a brick area. Mm -hmm. so. so we already have, I think, three bricks sold. So that's good. And then the, the money from the bricks um, will be used to maintain the garden and you know other needs of the, the senior center. Um, you probably all read about the um, senior and veteran property tax work off program. Um, the mayor had formally announced it on uh, Friday and then yesterday in the Daily Hampshire Gazette there was an article about it and as of today, um, well we got two applications in over the weekend but there's a total of seven applicants at this point, which is, I think, pretty decent. Um, and so as of July 1st through November 30th, uh, participants who are in the program are matched up with a department that has said they want different people into their department through this program. And the person would be working 125 hours at minimum wage. Um, so there's, a number of departments who were interested and as the program grows I'm sure more departments will sign up but it, you know as I'm already hearing from some of the seniors that you know they're really looking forward to having some um, assistance with their property tax um, through this program. Um, Heather and I will be meeting with uh, Tours of Distinction. It's a travel group that we have worked with in the past. Um, as you know, we've lost our second travel coordinator um, because of, well, I'm going to say part of the reason that I at least know of is um, because of the bid process that we go through. So we're going to be talking to a representative from Tours of Distinction to see how, how it can get worked through still using the bid process, but we may not need to have a coordinator that they provide the, um, the escort on the trip. But then again, it's like, who's gonna do all the other legwork of the whole thing? So we're, we're gonna hear from them on June 19th. Um, we're gonna participate again this year in the UMass Impact Day on September 13th. Last year, we had students from UMass, and they washed every single chair that in, in the great room, which is 200 the chairs, and all of the chairs in the bistro. And then they went around the building um, to do windows and just some other odd, odd jobs uh, for us. And uh, Crystal's gonna be coordinating that. We're gonna figure out what we want them to come in and do. And I think last year we had maybe 14 students and they were really wonderful. You know, they really worked the whole time that they were in here. They worked hard too. They didn't mess around. They were very, very pleasant and nice having them in the building. What was the date on that? Uh, September 13th. It's a Saturday, and they'll be here from 9 to 12. Um, this summer, we also will be having some interns. Um, we're going to have two from Springfield College and one from Bay Path. And then also UMass will be sending um, some individuals because there's going to be some research projects, one of which is about um, emotion. Emotions and aging. Um, it's a study where see, um, seniors age 70 and older can participate. Um, they're going to do an information session uh, at 1030 on July 11th where she's going to explain her research proposal. Um, and then seniors will be compensated $12 an hour for the interview portion, and it's between two and three hours, and the interviews will also be here at the Senior Center. And she wants to find out um, basically the myths of as you age and you tend to lose friends and family members as you age. Um, she wants to know if um, the myth of seniors being depressed 
older later in life is true, so that's why she wants to introduce seniors to age 70 and up. So that's what that's about. <laughs> Uh, and then June 17th, we're going to be hosting an RSVP meeting here, and it's called the Second Annual Site Partnership Meeting, because we do have RSVP volunteers who work through uh, the Senior Center as well. So it's always nice to collaborate with other other groups uh, coming into the building. We have memories meetings too. Yes. With yes, so there's uh, this other research project. So. And you'll hear more about that. Um, the next Con Street Chronicle will be coming out um, in the Daily Hampshire Gazette, so it's an insert. And I believe you'll be getting it as an insert on the 26th or the 27th. Of this month? Of June, yeah. It, so it's the July issue. Friday. The okay. So the 27th. Right next to the Hampshire Light. <laughs> so that's that, that's my report. Anyone have any questions for Patty on her report? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pat. We'll move on to buildings and grounds report, Patty. The, um, I'll just reiterate again about the um, meditation garden. Uh, when you walked into the building, you may have seen they came this morning to start working on it. They cut out all the, the yeah. areas um, where the plants and shrubs were going to be and flowers. Um, and so I don't know if they were working when you came in, but they were out there today. There's two benches that um, were purchased that are actually stored in here until they go back out when they uh, for the cement. So the benches will go in there. They're very nice, they're green, quite quite lovely and sturdy, and they last a lifetime. Um, so that's, and then we already uh, talked about the bricks, so that's another uh, area out there. That's, that's what I have for buildings and grounds. Anyone have any questions on building and grounds? business yeah I talked a little bit already about the open house I mean I think it's something that we want to try to do one or two times a year because it does bring people in here at an opportune time when um, obviously it was older Americans month but on a Sunday you know many people who are still working can't get in here during the week but also it's like a informal way for people to come into the senior center be able to ask questions just check it out see what it's like and there's no um, you know, it's not like they have to be doing anything. They can just come in and see what the building's like. And I'm going to say it repeatedly, um, I hear a lot of people come in and it's not just at open house, but oh gee, I drive by here, but I've never been in here. Um, so it's it's a whole different story once they get in here because it's not what they expect. It's way better than what they expected. So, well. And, let me stop here and we'll stop it for this. Remember I told you I had 59 people that I talked to about coming to the senior center? Well, I did some figures and said that wasn't a big enough sample. So I'm up to 234 people that I have talked to in the last three months now. And that's one of the things that most people will tell me they haven't been there. And it's really interesting. So to figure out ways to get them here for something is, is, is is key, I believe, to take care of that problem. Um, I don't know what to tell you, but that's that's the biggest thing that I hear. Well, I've never been there, but I heard it's bad. And then and, and I, you know, how did you hear it was bad? And blah blah blah. But I should have the report for you probably in the September meeting. Where are you interviewing the people? Every time I see an old person. <laughs> Every time I see an old person, I may be walking in the street. I stop in, I stop at the big white a lot. You know, if, if, I spend, if I see somebody in the big white behind before me and they seem like they're old enough, you know, I'll ask them, are you from North Hampton, are you a senior, blah, 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 you're a senior center. And I tell them I'm doing a report on why they don't go or why they do go. And I'll see there, I've stopped them, talked to people at Foster Fair, I've talked to people on the street, 
uh, numerous people at the bars and clubs around coming out in the evening or something, or, or even at you know that breakfast. I've talked to numerous people at the uh, floor holiday. I mean the Blue Bonnet and the bakery up at Lawrence, and just those folks that I run into all the time. A bunch of Coopers. I talk to people at Coopers all the time at the wine tasting. You know, there'd be older folks there in our age group. Because they're talk free. To them. Yeah, because it's free. <laughs> you know, but I've got, like I said, I, I probably should, well, I'd like to stop it at 300, and I think 300 people will give me a pretty good figure to what what the tendencies are. 59 wasn't quite enough. And then um, I really covered older American stuff as well. Um, than there are slots. So that would be a question that we could ask Michelle as of tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for asking about that. And that's that would be a lot of Okay. Anything else? Uh, we'll discuss that at the medical marijuana uh, meeting. So we held a um, meeting here about the medical marijuana dispensary, which is going to be done on Con Street, not too far from us. And I know some of you sitting here um, came to that. I will say that the uh, presenters, there were three of them, I, they were very informative and you know answered everybody's questions. Um, some questions you never ever would even thought could be a question. Um, and they had diagrams of, uh, or print, blueprints of what the building was going to look like. And um, you know, so it's, it's going to be there. I haven't heard if they were approved yet by the state. They were approved by the state, from what I heard in the paper. So it's um, it's going to be across the street. Many forms of marijuana that can be purchased. <laughs> for medicinal the, purposes, it's all for medical reasons. Is it the brick yeah. building across the street down the way? The white one. White one. The old plumbing place. Wasn't it a laundry place? Uh, it was a laundry. You're, we're talking about, we're going way back now. It was Belding's laundry. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the back of it. Yeah. The back right. was crusty. Right. The front of it was across the street from uh, the car dealer down there. Yeah. 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 But, but hey, back there in the old days. Yeah, I know. And I, I will give uh, Councilor Labarge was at the meeting and she was talking to them raising the question, well, you're going to make a lot of money and you should really distribute it to like the Board of Health and to the senior center. So I was like, yes, Miriam, that's good. So, yeah, it's like how you're going to be involved in your pocket. pocket. Yeah. So, but that was a good luck for us. And then, she, and then she said, and Jim Spencer would love to be on the board of directors. <laughs> well, that's right, yeah, because we're going to have a board of directors or an advisory board of some sort. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one that was going to be in Florence? Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. So is he looking for you? I think Norton. Kind of <laughs> I like that video a lot. I thought it was very informative, and a lot of the people that were there thought it was very. Yeah. I got some questions changed in my mind, answers that I had before. Really felt good about it. I was surprised it wasn't better attended. There were maybe 25 people yeah, there. Yeah. 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 It was all a concern that seemed to be generated by it, and they didn't show up to ask questions. Yeah, so it but it was a good presentation. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they, they very laid important. everything out with. <coughs> Was by the discouraging smoke. Amy, if no one has anything else in their old business, we move on to new business. Patty, you don't have anything on the 
Anybody? Well, I guess the only thing I'll say is a reminder, and it is here that there is no meeting in August. Just as a reminder, even though we have a meeting in July. Well, one thing was asked me on the shredding, if they're making all the checks, is it to the COA? Yeah. Okay. I have something. <laughs> There's no meeting in August, but on the second Thursday in August from 10 to 11 a.m., I need individuals to help um, with the brown bag program, which um, is basically, it's like an assembly line. Jim's helped with it before. We um, have pa brown paper bags and we get a food donation from the food pantry. And like an assembly line, you put one your item in and then slide the bag down. And we do about 162 bags. We have about 100 people who come to the senior center and then we do 62 deliveries. So I need help bagging the food for August on the second Thursday, 10 a.m. If you could be here for 9.30, the program starts at 10 a.m. What's the date on that second Thursday? 14. 14th. Um, so the volunteers, the truck usually gets here 9.45 to 10 o'clock. So if you planned on being here for 9.30, you'd have enough time to have a cup of coffee and you'd be out here, out of here by 10.30 in the morning. It's about an hour. Yeah. Um, the students I'll who do. usually do it can't come, so yeah. I'll do that. Okay, great. The students that we have students from the Tri County School, which is an alternative high school in East Hampton, mm -hmm. and um, they do a summer school program, so they'll be here for July, but they won't be here for August. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, good. They said yes, and then I'm going to be one. Uh, oh, sure. Okay. I'll be on the cake. I'll bag from the cake. <laughs> there was one um, day that. Um, Nobody showed up to volunteer, <clears throat> so we had to take all the staff to bag everything up. Oh, it, was wow. just, it was fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And there was a day you got the whole writing group in there, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's when, oh, there's George. Okay. <laughs> so whoever, whoever can volunteer with Crystal. I came in one day. I broke my toe on my lunch break. I off and ran to let my dog out and kicked this Wayne's coating or whatever it's called on the floor. Oh, <laughs> Order stuff. I just kicked it with the wrong toe. <laughs> Good for you. Bill's character. Pain is good. Yeah. Pain is good. Oh, I heard that one last time. Yeah, for my mother. So, does anyone have anything on the new business? I'd like to hear a motion to adjourn then. I'll make the motion to adjourn to me. I'll second it. Second by Bob. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye